Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your weekly tarot reading for the week of July. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that life is treating you well. And for this reading, this is um, a general reading for any sun, moon, or rising Sagittarius. We're going to take a look at the cards. We'll get a sense of the awareness for the week, guidance, and possible outcomes. Okay, so we have the Five of Cups. We have the Tower, Major Arcana. And we have Justice, Major Arcana. So interesting spread, some interesting ideas here for Wednesday. You know, with the Five of Cups, we see the, looks like she's a mermaid and she's sitting here on the rocks, looking dejectedly at the cups that have spilled, not seeing the cups that are in the air behind her. So, you know, this is a card where you feel disappointed. You may feel regret over not accomplishing something, over something not working out in your life, whether it's a job or a hobby or a goal that you were trying to achieve or relationship that uh, is changing and where the energy is changing and the dynamic is changing between you and your partner. So you feel the sense perhaps of something slipping away or you feel the sense of loss that can, you know, just happen in relationships or in dating. That people change their mind, they don't feel the same way and so we take it to heart and it hurts Often the Five of Cups, there's a sense of um, perhaps longing for the past. With the Five of Cups, it is sorrowful. It is something hurting your heart, feeling upset. And, uh, you know, Five of Cups is a, it's a temporary card because ultimately, you know, ultimately you have to keep on going. You wake up the next day and you put your feet, you get your feet off on the floor and you start the new day. And that you all you eventually have to get a place where you find peace with whatever loss that you feel. Because if you don't, then it's, uh, it stalls your progress. It delays your growth. Often, these situations where we feel pain, we feel depressed or sad, they are learning experiences and we grow from them. We grow from discomfort within our life. And so when we can look at it through a different perspective is, you know, count your blessings. Think about the things that you do have, which behind are the magical cups. You may have lost something but you still have something to be thankful for. So this five of clubs and sadness right next to the tower. And the tower is always a powerful card to look at because we have people falling out of the tower, the lightning striking, the clouds, just tremendous upheaval, upset, which can be shocking. It can happen in a moment's time that your world gets turned upside down. And so with the tower, you know, it's the crumbling and the collapse of a foundation that is familiar to you, perhaps a routine that has worked for you. And again, you can, some of you will relate this to a relationship that is fallen apart and you're feeling sadness from that. Others, may feel that it's um, the regret of not pursuing something that you wanted to do, the regret of not following a dream. The loss, there's a sense here of, of a foundation being destroyed, which on its face value, that's pretty upsetting. But if you look at the tower through a different perspective, which is that sometimes things have to be blown up or have to crumble in order for a better foundation to be built. One that's going to serve you and bring you happiness and joy. And while the initial bounce here and the fall, you feel it 
and it may linger with you for weeks or, or days, weeks or months or years, that ultimately when you're able to put it into perspective and to say, yeah, that was a shock, uh, I didn't realize that this was going to happen, but now later on I'm, I'm the better for it because it's cleared the way for, for more joy or happiness to come into my life. So with the tower and this sadness, here's justice. And justice deals with, it deals with honesty and truthfulness and being fair. The decisions that you make, the actions, are you dealing with issues that are fair or unfair? So it could very well be that something has happened with respect to equality and fairness and truthfulness within your relationship, within your job, that has caused this eruption, or caused the lightning to strike, and the foundation to crumble, and the feelings to feel regret and sadness, uh, a sense of grief. With justice, you know, I always think of a couple words, which is equality, fairness, and integrity, of doing the right thing, and this could be someone within your situation where they didn't do the right thing. Or maybe it's you. Maybe you chose to do something that uh, wasn't uh, truthful or honest and perhaps there were consequences. And the consequences were the tower of something falling apart. So justice and these cards are beautiful illustrations. The justice here you know, looking for the balance and the fairness, looking for, um, as, you're, as you're solving problems, to look for the objective and the fair decision, the honest decision based on the facts. On a literal level for justice, it could relate to agreements, documents, court documents, uh, court summons. So, a very interesting spread for Wednesday where things may, you may feel something changing that could be sticking in your heart a little bit or in your head that's upsetting. The good news is you got to write it out and then ultimately you'll feel better, you'll learn and you open up at least a door for the good things in life, for what you're hoping for and what you're visualizing. So let's take a look at the numbers. We have five and 16 is 21. 21 and nine is 30. I'm sorry, 21, <laughs> let's try this again. Five and 16 is 21 and 21 and 11 is 32. And so that reduces to five. Five is about new cycles, about challenges, about having to be flexible and to adjust. And finally, to close the reading, I'm going to choose an oracle card. We'll get a little more information. Unconditional love. So, I feel like this is a message to those who are feeling the sadness and feeling the disappointment or the regret is to feel unconditional love first of all for yourself. Feel the self-love and uh, stay away from the blame game of blaming yourself for things that happen. And sometimes if you make a mistake in life and you mess things up, it's okay. It's just part of what it is. And you have to accept it and let it go and move on. But to have unconditional love for yourself, and to have unconditional love uh, from hopefully your family or your friends, rely on that. Allow the support to come to you. So that's how I see this unconditional love, which is really, you see your heart here and your head. 
and it's accepting um, the love for yourself. So I hope that you found this reading helpful today. And if you did, please subscribe if you haven't already. Like, share, or comment. And I will see you tomorrow for another reading. Take care. Bye-bye.